Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Earl of March's Grade 6 Information Night. Thank you so much for making time to join us this evening. My name is Faye Hewson, and I am the Vice Principal for the Intermediate Students here at Earl of March. We also have Steve Collins, the Principal for all students in Grades 7 to 12, here with us as well. You'll notice that there is a link to a Google form underneath the live stream video. Please use the form to ask questions throughout the presentation, and we will be happy to answer them at the end. Thank you as well to those of you who have already submitted questions in advance of this evening. Following this presentation, we do encourage you to check out our school website, which has a wealth of information about our school and opportunities for you in high school. This presentation will also be linked on the school website. I do apologize, we are experiencing some technical difficulties this weekend or this, this evening with the audio, uh, but the presentation will be available on our website uh, following this evening. Here is an overview of what you will learn about tonight to help you learn more about EOM. We will be talking generally about how the school runs and what your schedule will look like, safety measures, class placements, use of technology and other opportunities at school, as well as some success tips. At the end of the presentation, I will be answering the questions that were sent to us through the Google form. You will notice that I will be referring to activities and events that take place in a normal or typical school year throughout the presentation. We are going to be starting off the next school year in a similar way to this past year, but hopefully, depending on how the next few months go, we will eventually get to a point next year where we can return to completing our normal routines and activities. Let's talk about the first day of school. On the first day, students should arrive at school between 8.30 and 8.40 a.m. and remain in the intermediate yard. Our staff will have emailed you and your family before the first day, so you will already know the teacher's name, classroom number, and class code. Teachers and support staff will be on the school year on the first day to help you find your teachers. Students will locate and check in with their homeroom teacher who will be on the school year and holding a sign indicating the class code. Students will remain in line with their class and teacher until the students in the class have all arrived. The teacher will then leave the class into the school to begin first day activities. The first days of school will be filled with a variety of activities, which include reviewing and practicing safety procedures, learning the class schedule and meeting teachers, getting to know classmates, participating in school orientation activities and programs, beginning instruction and classwork, and a tour of the school with your class. The bell rings to come inside at 8.30 and get ready for the day. You need to be in your class to start at 8.40. If you miss attendance, you must check in with the office. Be sure to pay attention at the crosswalk in the morning if you are walking or riding your bike to school. If you bring your bike to school, you must ensure it is properly locked up on the bike racks. Our school day starts at 8.40 and ends at 3 o'clock. Yard supervision begins at 8.25. Bus supervision runs from 3 to 3.10 after school. We have three main instructional blocks during our balanced school day, and students have two 40-minute breaks, which are broken into 20-minute eating of eating and 20 minutes outside for recess. Like this year, you will be learning in the same classroom all day with occasional access to the gym during phys ed periods. Your teachers will be rotating to teach you in your classroom. Subjects in elementary school include math, English, science, social studies, French, phys ed, health, and the arts. Classes vary in length depending on the subject and range from 20 minutes of daily physical activity, for example, to 60 minutes of math a day. You will have anywhere from three to five different teachers teaching all of your subjects. Some teachers will teach you more than one subject. For example, you may have the same teacher teaching you math and English. You are scheduled to have three 40-minute physical education classes a week with two 20-minute periods of BPA, which stands for daily physical activity. 
We have one main yard where you will have access to our basketball nets, four square courts, and a tether ball for active play. Full equipment will be provided to you to use during recess time, which is regularly sanitized. Each class will have their own set of equipment to use. At this time, no personal equipment is allowed at school. We ask that you refrain from using technology at recess as well. We will be following the same rules and guidelines in schools next year in order to keep everyone inside our school safe. This includes wearing a mask inside and outdoors at recess, regular hand washing and sanitizing, using the same entrance and exit every day, learning in the same classroom, having nutrition break in your classroom, and using zones at recess and remaining with your own class. This year, students are using the same entrance indicated by color to come into and exit the school every day. Students are also separated on the yard during recess in their class and remain in the same zone every day. We have classes switching and moving to a different zone, usually on a monthly basis. In terms of which class we place you in, we solicit input from the staff at our feeder schools to create our classes. Your current teachers know the students best and assist us in making class placement decisions. We work to create balanced classes that include students from all of our schools. Students are allowed to bring and use devices at school once they have returned the appropriate forms. There are three different zones for the school that outline when and where it is appropriate to be using the device. This includes the green zone, during nutrition break and not recess, and outside before school starts. You must still use your device appropriately during those times. Most classes are a yellow zone. This means that your technology should be on silent, face down on your desk. You should only be using it if the teacher gives you permission, and it must be for educational reasons. If you need to contact your parents, please use the phone in the office. Tech Technology should not be brought to the following areas at school. Physical education, classes, drama, unless you've been given specific instruction otherwise, the washroom and outdoor recess. I would now like to uh, invite some of our current grade seven and eight students to speak about our student council and some of the events we have run for our school this year. Zaina, Muhan, Shirley, and Madeline are four of our current grade seven and eight students and student council members who are excited to share some information about our school council and some of the events we have planned for us this past year. Hello everyone. Um, we are seventh and eighth grade representatives from the student council. I am Zaina and I am in charge of doing announcements and I'm also a representative for my class. I'm Muhan, I'm the student council yearbook liaison. Um, I'm Shirley and I'm the secretary of student council and I keep the minutes. I'm Madeline and I also do announcements. So today we will introduce what student council is and what it takes to be part of it. Student council is a student body organization that organizes fun activities for their fellow classmates. Some things we do here in student council are BOGS and spirit days. BOGS stands for battle of the grades where each grade competes in activity to see who wins. For example, in our battle of the grades for this November, we did a Kahoot battle between the two grades. Spirit days are when you do activities to show school spirit, even when there's no winner. For spirit day, we did comfy clothes day during January to show our school spirit. As student council members, we also have the opportunity in teacher run activities with their permission to help them run it. We also have some student council plan activities that we will run in, your, in our classes. We have ran two scavenger hunts, which are box, one virtual and one in our school, or we put points for certain objects in our zones, which is our yards or at home. And everyone in the class can try to find as many items as they can to win. We also ran many group building activities such as one where we had teams with strips of different colored paper and they tried to put them in specific shapes with only verbal instructions and 
is really good for team building. So while student council is a lot of fun, it does take some participation and dedication to be part of it. So our council meets currently virtually after school from 3.45 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., but in a normal non-COVID year, you would be meeting during nutrition break and recess. To be able to participate in student council, you also have to be elected by your classmates. Each year at the beginning of the year, each class hosts a little mini election where students interested in running for student council prepare a little speech. And then your classmates will vote on who they believe is best suited for the role of student council representative. Each class gets two reps, which means you have double the chances of getting to participate. We're having technical difficulties right now. Uh, Zania, could you please un unmute your mic? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the student council, there are multiple roles that form our large group. For example, the vice president, the president, the announcement team, and the minute keeper, and the yearbook liaison all have different roles in the student council. Uh, however, you have, as a seventh grader are only open to a few roles. After you're elected by your classmates as a representative, you're upgraded to the student council team. Once you're on the team, you have the choice of running for either vice president or secretary. The vice president is the bridge between the high school student council team and the intermediate student council team. The secretary takes notes on all the meetings that take place. Student council is a very fun experience and a great leadership opportunity. Hey, thank you so much, ladies. We will have lots of opportunities for you to get involved when we get back to normal. This includes instrumental music classes and bands and a variety of clubs, Skills Ontario, and using lockers in the cafeteria. If you are interested in creating a new club, please do not hesitate to speak to one of your teachers or myself, and we can support you in making that happen. In a normal year, we do have a variety of sports that are offered for you to participate in during the school year. Unfortunately, we will not be offering extracurricular sports to begin with at the beginning of the year, but hopefully that will be changing at some point. The sports teams we offer include cross-country running, touch football, volleyball, basketball, badminton, soccer, ultimate frisbee, and track and field. The coaches at EOM hold tryouts and choose their teams based on the tryouts. For all the team sports, we have a grade seven boys and a girls team and a grade eight boys and girls team. The sevens and eights are always uh, placed on their own separate grade teams and are not mixed. The list of recommended school supplies can also be found on our website. A three inch binder with dividers labeled for each subject is very helpful to keep students organized. Pencils, a paper, uh, a Sorry, pencils, a pencil sharpener, a ruler, erasers, lined and grid paper are the most essential tools. A calculator is necessary. Phones are not recommended to be used as a calculator. Please ensure that you know how to orient the paper, holes to the left, wide margin at the top of the paper when writing and have an efficient system to organize papers. Indoor shoes are required. And being on time each day is important. The bell rings at 8.40 and instruction begins promptly at 8.45. Even being 10 minutes late means a, a student has missed 10 minutes of instruction, which negatively impacts their understanding of the lesson or class activity. I'd now like to take the opportunity to answer some of the questions that were sent to us uh, by the Google Forum. I hope that the questions that were sent to us were answered throughout this presentation. Will there be an in-person tour of Earl of March for grade sixes this year? This year, we are not offering in-person tours to our incoming grade seven students. We will be sending out a student-specific Google slide deck to you in June, which will include a virtual tour of the school and more information about your teachers, some of our safety guidelines, and what the school looks like. Your teachers will also be giving your class a tour of the school on the first day of school. This was a very common question. Uh, will we be able to use the cafeteria and what kind of food is there? 
um, at the cafeteria uh, in a regular year, uh, as it is closed this year and it will be closed next year. There are daily specials, including stir fry and pasta, and then other options such as sandwiches, burgers, and french fries. There are also a variety of desserts and baked goods, including muffins and fruit. Will we be using lockers? We are not planning on using lockers next year. Things are subject to change though, depending on what happens over the summer. Are there going to be any plays? Prior to the COVID restrictions, the secondary staff and students begin planning in the fall to put on a musical for the school and community in the spring. The grade seven and eights do not usually participate in performing a musical. Are we going to be able to play musical instruments next year? Unfortunately, we will not be using regular performance instruments in music class next year. The music program will include adapted instruments like drumming sticks and lessons which focus on music appreciation and theory. Are there any additional learning materials provided for students outside of school? The OCDSB does provide virtual help sessions offered for students in grades 7 to 12 this year uh, and will next year that focus on English and math support. In a regular year, these, these after-school sessions would be in person. Families also have the option of attending tutoring sessions with private centers and tutors outside of Earl of March. Are the new subjects going to be hard? And how can I get good marks? So everything you are learning about in grade seven builds on your prior knowledge and the skills you have already learned in other grades. Your teachers will be learning about you as an individual when you first come to school in September in order to help you to be more successful. Our goal for you is to develop your skills by believing in yourself, working hard, and making sure that you ask for help when you need it. We do have an amazing group of dedicated teachers at Earl of March who are ready to support you and want you to succeed. Will I have homework? You will have to complete some daily homework in your classes. One of our main goals in intermediate school is to prepare you for high school. Having you manage your time in the evenings and review concepts after school is a way to help you prepare for expectations in high school. What should I do if I miss the bus? You should head directly to the bus as soon as your class is dismissed at the end of the day. The buses leave the school promptly at 3.10. If you can't find your bus before the buses have left, speak to the yard duty teacher and they will help you to look for it. It is important to remember your bus number to, making, uh, to make finding your bus a bit easier. If your bus is left already, the yard duty teacher will contact the office and they will help you contact your family to be picked up. Your busing information will be sent to you prior to the first day of school and your teacher will review it with you on the first day as well. How many students are there at Earl of March? How many students are in our classes? And will there be a class in a portable? We have about 600 grade seven and eight students in our entire intermediate building. There will be approximately 25 to 30 students in your class. And there is always a possibility that uh, you will be learning in a portable. Do we ever have to interact with students in high school uh, in grades nine to 12? The secondary students in grades nine to 12 share the office with you. And then in a typical year, they also share the auditorium, cafeteria and library. However, grades seven and eights complete their daily activities separately for the most part. Are students in EFI and MFI programs combined into one class? Yes, we do combine our EFI and MFI students into combined classes in both grade seven and eight. Are you allowed to leave school property during the breaks? You are allowed to leave school property with your parents' written permission. We do encourage our students to remain at school though in order to participate in socializing at break and also participating in extracurricular activities when they are available again. Can we go to Beaverbrook Library? Your teacher may take you to the library on a supervised field trip when we return to normal. To begin with, we will not be participating in regular field trips other than community walks. 
My child has an IEP and who do I contact? Please contact our learning support teacher. Her name is Mrs. Gunner and her email is there and she would be happy to support you with all your special education needs. At this time, I would be happy to answer any other questions that you may have uh, through the Google form. I would once again like to encourage you to check out our website where you can find more information about the different opportunities we have at Earl of March. So there's a question here about registering. Um, you do not need to complete a form to register at Earl of March if, you are, uh, if you're in our catchment area. Um, if you have a question about this and registration, you can contact the school directly and our office staff will be happy to support you with uh, explaining the registration process. Okay, and I don't see any other um, I don't see any other questions coming in at this time. However, if you do have a specific question about uh, coming into grade seven, I would be happy to receiving uh, your question through email, uh, or you can call the school directly and ask your question, and the office staff or I would be happy to answer for you. Um, and uh, we definitely look forward to seeing you next year uh, in person, hopefully. Um, I'm sure that will be a reality. And uh, thank you so much for joining us this evening.